Hi friends, welcome to oil and gas training. Welcome to another video from oil and gas training. Dear friends, welcome to oil and gas training. We are discussing uh, about uh, basic instrumentation and uh, control system. So in this video we are discussing about uh, level measurement. Welcome to this video. You know a level is a, an important process variable in uh, oil and gas or petrochemical or hydrocarbon any type of process industry. So we need to understand what is level, what is the unit, basic unit of level, how to measure that one and, then, and what are the various instruments or measuring mechanism using in the field. So level is a quantity or height of a liquid inside a tank so normal units common units are using in feet centimeter meter and the percentage or any other suitable method or suitable unit you can use so level measurement principle level devices operate under three main uh, different principles the position one is a position or height of the liquid surface or the pressure head inside the tank and the weight of the material. Let us discuss how this is working. There are two methods used to measure the level of a liquid. A direct method is there, indirect method is there. Indirect method by actually seeing the level inside the tank directly we see that one. Indirect or inferential method is by using any other property of the substance to be measured. So you can see in a car engine we are taking the level using a dip or a dipstick. So that is a direct method but a huge tank or far away or we cannot easily go there and find out the level directly we use some indirect method. Let us review both direct and indirect method to measure the level measurement. Direct methods are simple to use, reliable, low cost item and generally well suitable to non hazardous areas. There are four types of uh, direct level measurement devices, dipstick and dip rod, weighted gauge tape, side glasses and floats. The indirect or inferential method of measurement uses the changing position of the liquid surface to determine the level with reference to a datum line. It can be used for flow or low and high levels where the use of the direct method instrument is impractical. Dipstick and dip rod. The liquid wet at the end of the rod that has been dipped into it. When taken out the wet dry interface can be clearly seen from the scale of the rod. So you can see from the two pictures are here. Left side it is a dipstick method and uh, that is a, like a open tank or a small tank where we can put it directly but in the right side you can see a huge tank whether it is open or close but uh, you cannot use a direct dipstick so in that case we use a dip rod so whenever you go your field or uh, to see that one what uh, different type of level measuring instrument using in your various uh, tanks this picture also uh, showing how a dipstick method is used in a closed tank like a car engine uh, inside uh, we are taking the level so small method or direct method we are using here another uh, direct method is a weighted gauge type like a huge tank we cannot use uh, direct uh, dipstick or dip rod in that one weighted gauge type is uh, using this is used in a similar fashion to dipstick but uh, deep on deep vessels and tank where uh, there is a solid rod would be inappropriate. So used to check level in crude oil storage tank. This is the application of this one in large crude oil storage tanks. So one uh, side uh, there is a float is there and uh, a pulley system is connected. So float is uh, uh, using uh, flowing uh, moving inside the specific path to avoid uh, uh, oscillation 
so when the level is increasing and decreasing it will lift the float up and down so outside there is a scaling mechanism is there pointer and the scaling or counterweight so this counterweight move up and down and we can uh, see from the outside what is the exact actual level of the fluid inside the tank so uh, in a right side picture it is uh, connected uh, showing that when it is uh, uh, inside the inside a tank thank you uh, another type of uh, lever level measuring uh, uh, system is uh, side glasses side glass is a directly uh, level measurement system a side glass or a gauge glass is a tube mounted on the outside of a tank and it connects to the top and uh, bottom of the tank side glasses level matches the liquid level inside the tank there are various type of side glasses uh, the two most common type we using are is uh, the flat glass tubular or reflex or uh, magnetic type what are using to measuring the level inside a closed vessel another type uh, another type is uh, float type level indicator or level measuring instrument the float rest on the surface of the liquid as the liquid level uh, rises and falls the float rises and falls the movement of the float can be transferred to a pointer on an indicator scale to show uh, the liquid level outside another type is uh, float and uh, type level indicator float is connected uh, to a flexible type wire that moves up and down uh, as the float in a tank moves uh, tank level moves up and down uh, guide wire or, or a metal tube are needed to prevent the float from moving sideways magnetic type level sensor a magnetic level gauge is used to measure level of fluids a magnetic level gauge includes a floatable device that can float both in high and low density fluids magnetic level gauges may also be designed to accommodate severe environmental condition from 200 degree bar to 370 degree c uh, another classification of level measuring devices are indirect method of level measurement devices in that one uh, differential pressure transmitters are there bubble tube is there uh, displacer uh, type level uh, transmitters or level measuring devices are there let us see how it is working in this one the first one is a differential uh, differential uh, pressure type level transmitter or level uh, measuring devices the hydrostatic uh, pressure exert its force against the diaphragm on the hp side like high pressure any differential pressure detected between hp and lp side is converted to a signal that is directly proportional to the level in the tank in the picture if you are closely watching you can see that one is a open atmosphere open tank to atmosphere and liquid level is there the liquid level side is connected as consider as hp side the other side is vented to open to atmosphere is connected as low pressure so difference between the pressure hp and lp it will equally it will convert to uh, signal converter pro directly proportional to the level so this is uh, indirect type of uh, level transmit level uh, measuring device dp cell uh, connected to a closed tank in this picture it is uh, clearly mentioned in earlier picture it is uh, one side is open to atmosphere here it is uh, the lp side is uh, connected to uh, top of the tank uh, like uh, gas side so one side it is the process fluid in the hp side and uh, wet leg side that is in the lp side is connected to top of the tank so it's a closed loop this method is using for uh, like uh, hydrocarbon fluids so uh, by same concept uh, principally same hp minus lp uh, difference in the pressure converted to uh, level another type is a bubble tube it is mainly using for corrosive liquids so it's a indirect method so the system is uh, like that one uh, so the a empty tube is uh, connected to the uh, uh, to the liquid and uh, inert gas is uh, uh, entering to the system entering to the down of uh, entering to the tube through liquid so the back pressure is uh, here uh, back pressure is uh, connecting uh, back, back pressure is uh, converting to liquid level when there is no level there is no back pressure it will read as pressure gauge will read as zero so the when the level is increasing the back pressure uh, 
uh, is uh, acting more and uh, that will convert it to equivalent level. So, Pargy systems are particularly used to measuring level of corrosive liquids, viscous liquid, liquids containing entrained slow like uh, slurries. This method will be uh, very much applicable. Another type is a displacer type level sensor. In the picture, it is showing that one of the, uh, the tank, uh, from the tank, two legs are taking from bottom and top. And uh, another small vessel is equivalent to uh, tank level. So, inside that one, the principle of buoyancy is working. A displacer is inside the uh, small tank and it will move up and down according to the level, the main level uh, inside the vessel. So, principle of this system is buoyancy. Another method is are used where it is not acceptable for level measuring instrument to come into contact with the process material. Uh, one is ultrasonic level detector. The elapsed time between the emission and the reception of the signal from a surface to the liquid to the tank bottom is used as a used to measure the level. So, ultrasonic level sensor uh, image is showing here. So, the level sensor is the connected to the top of the tank. There is no direct contact between the liquid and the measuring device. So, it is uh, emitted ultrasonic or acoustic waves and retaining that wave is uh, considered as the uh, measuring the level. So, this is an advanced type of level measuring device. Thanks for watching this video. We have now completed uh, uh, measuring devices for uh, important process variable like uh, temperature, pressure, uh, level and flow. So, we have a uh, uh, lot of information to be complete for like uh, control system, uh, basic instrumentation. Many modules are uh, coming in uh, future uh, videos. So, please subscribe this channel for uh, timely updates and informations. So, thanks for watching this video. Definitely, we will come back with another video soon. Thank you.